let me show you guys how to prepare a dough starter for our pizza. So for this we will need um, honey, flour, yeast. So first what we need, 200 grams of water. Then we put our yeast inside. So the next step will be around also 8 grams of honey. I'm using here home harvested honey that my grandmother sent to me. And now we mix everything. So if you don't have honey, you can replace it with a sugar. Basically use the same weight, around 6-8 grams will be enough. We added initially 200 grams of water and then I will just put another 200 grams of flour. Okay, so the proportion is one to one between water and flour and mix it. Okay, that's it. So the next step will be to let it stay opened on the room temperature for another 10-15 minutes and after this you close it, you seal it and move to the fridge. Here we have our dough after 12 hours, it's fully fermented, you see it was rising up to the cap and even some of it get out from the box. So what we will do next, we will um, take another 200 grams of water Mix it with 300 grams of flour, plus add 10 grams of uh, salt in it, and also put our starter, uh, everything together. So first salt, our starter, okay, so everything together, and now we need to mix it. So we're ready with our dough. Now we'll just put it somewhere to rest for another few hours and let it grow up as well. Later, such dough we got, like it's fully puffy, airy, and then now we need to work with it. So first of all, we take some flour, put it on the table. Do not let the dough stick to the table and then get the full dough. I will use also knife. Let it out of here. Like that. Put some flour on top. And let's start working with it. If you feel that it sticks to your hand, just add another flour. Okay. So the next step, we'll just need to split it what we need for one pizza. It's like such piece of dough. Okay. And we'll play with it just in, in a minute. Okay, so now the next step, once we have those three pieces dough, we just put, you know, like the edges. We make them on the other side. Make sure that you have enough flour and it doesn't stick to you and just put one after another so such that will basically bring the air inside okay like that oops and put it aside so same stuff with the next one just stretch it, stretch it and put it all the inside so that this upper comes out and voila. We'll leave them for another 15 minutes to rest, but such that the upper level doesn't dry, we'll use the olive oil, put a bit on hands and pumps, pumps, pumps here and repeat it with other two pieces so let's make the sauce for pizza peeled tomatoes um, salt and provence spices 
this it goes out and here. Just put it as much as you want according to your taste. Put some paper and salt. So rip the tomatoes on a small parts like that. Try it out if it's enough salt. Yeah, perfectly. So this will put aside and now the knife. Uh, we have here mozzarella and we need to basically put it on three pizzas so I'll just make it three big pieces and cut it on so sticks, bumps. So uh, for one of the pizza, which will be a quattro formaggi, I'm going to use additional cheese, uh, the blue cheese. In our case, it is gorgonzola and also a soft one. And we're going to put some parmesano or in our case is grana padano, a hard cheese. So let's start with this guy. Let's need some piece of it. And Cut it on slices. <laughs> One piece was stolen. Voila. So it will be the biggest one. Then we'll use a white soft cheese. You can also use your fingers to just break it in smaller pieces. Now we put some flour on the table and we will work with our dough. And what the next thing, you put your fingers just inside here and squash it totally out, yeah? In this way, we'll keep the all, all the air inside on our edges, like that. Squash it. Make sure that it doesn't stick to the table. Push it, push it, push it. So, also put some flour either inside or on your fingers. Do not let the dough stick to you. As softer the dough is, then the bigger will be this side. So then you turn it like that and stretch it out like that, like that. So the Dough for the first pizza is almost done. What we're going to do now? I will use a baking paper and I'll put it here on this paper and just like that before pushing it to the oven. And you already see how the air comes out. Like that. So then the next step will be to put some olive oil on the dough, like that. Okay. And then we'll work it out. Make sure that it's just spread it all over the surface of the pizza. So now this will first pizza will be for my son. So I'm putting our tomatoes inside. Like three spoons will be enough and spreading also it all over the pizza dough like that. One additional one comes here. Okay, great. So now we can start using cheese. You want to try mm -hmm. to put some? Let's just use mozzarella here. Mm -hmm. Put inside all over the pizzas. Now you feel you're curious. Okay. Like that place. 
now. Will you use hum? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just also break it. And do you want uh, any other cheese to be put? Mm -hmm. Should we put like here we have a blue cheese, soft cheese? Mm -hmm. A bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. So like that. Very well. Okay, more hum. Very nice. Voila. Give me five. Cool. So I cannot find my pizza spatula, so I'll do some improvisation. Put it like that. And. Put it into the oven. It is already preheated. We have stone plate. That's it. Just let's wait another 10 minutes. Anastasia, come here. So, what would you like to put inside? Uh, ham. Should we maybe start with uh, tomato <gasps> sauce? Okay, just bring it closer. Put three spoons of it. Great. And spread it also with a spoon. Okay. okay. All over the place where you want. If you want more, you can put more. No, it's okay. Great. So then we'll put some mozzarella yes. cheese. Okay. Take it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So already you see there are some oh. sticks. So let it cut it on sticks. You just put it on. Do it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Any? No, no yeah. cheese at all. No okay, cheese. great. So yes. then. Already done. What? Everything is uh, prepared, yeah? And then we'll just uh, wait until the first pizza will be cooked. And then we'll put this one mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Yo! So this is the result. Pizza. The next goes inside. Looks tasty. Look tasty, very crispy, you see? Mm -hmm. And voila. Mm -hmm. I think what we will need to show up is how airy it is, you see? Like so much mm. inside and it's very crispy. Here you have it. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Mm. Mm. This is so tasty.